What's going on gamers, Ashi here, and I'm bringing you another tutorial on another Photoshop and Cinema 4D tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to import your, cinema, your Photoshop files into Cinema 4D so you can make them 3D. Now, first off, you want to go, go into open up a file, or a Photoshop picture, whatever you want. And there, that's my thumbnails. Um, let me find a edited photos, let me find something here. Personal logos, I'm just going to open up, let me see, is there anything here? Now I'm going to go into requ requested logos, going up the Zorro work. If it'll... Okay. Now open. You're going to want to open that. And in fact, this is actually very simple. You're going to want to rasterize. Oh, no. Apparently I already done it. Okay, you're going to want to control and click on the on the box here in the under layers. Click that. Then you're going to want to go to your marquee tool. Right click. And then hit make work path. Hit OK. Then you're going to want to go into file, export, paths to illustrator, work path, hit OK. Now you can just save this to wherever you want. So to make it a bit easier I'm just going to put it on the my desktop. So I'm just going to hit save. And should save in a second. Uh, let me see where is it. My desktop is really, really bloody cluttered up. I can't find it. Um, where is it? Um, okay, there you can see it there. The Zoark logo AI. You should find that wherever you saved it. Then you're going to want to open up Cinef Cinema 4D. Hit File. Hit Open. And you're going to want to go to wherever you saved it again. I, I saved it to my desktop. You're going to want to scroll down until you find it. Uh, where is it? 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 Um, okay, Thorwork logo AI. Okay, click on that and then hit open. Hit OK. Then you're gonna then you're gonna see it's a it's an outline of the of the logo, and you can see it's not 3D either. So to make it 3D, you're gonna want to hit the plus plus button here beside the Thorwork logo. Then that's gonna drop down the, all these pads. So you're going to want to select them all and drag them outside the Zoroark logo box. Then you can delete the Zoroark logo. Um, then you then you want to go to... You're going to want to click Extrude Nerbs and keep clicking Extrude Nerbs for the amount of pads you have. So I have five pads. I'm going to click it five times. So I'm going to click it. That's three. Oh, wrong one. Four. Five. Okay, I have five Extrude Nerbs there and I have five pads. So you're going to want to... Move each each one of your pads to a to a, an extrude nerve. But if you if you move two pads to the same extrude nerve, it won't work. It won't it won't uh, make the pad 3D. So you're gonna want to have a separate pad for, or extrude nerve for each pad. And now you can see the logo is 3D, and you can just mess around with it whatever way you want. And yeah, that's 3D. You can just go into you can just select them all, go into chords. You can change them whatever way you want. As you can see there, you can change the, the way they are there, you can change all that stuff. Uh, you can change the, all this stuff. So yeah, that that's it's a very simple tutorial, it's very simple, really easy to do. So if you like this video, please comment down below, tell me what you'd like to see next, tell me if you'd like to see more of that Minecraft uh, videos I was doing. And also, please share the video to your friends, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.